I can't take care of too many pets at once, so I try to find loving homes for my Quran creations. This is Abu Porker, the first of the rightly folded critters, aka Freedom Pig. Abu Porker was put up for auction, but the auction was taken down, leaving him sad and lonely. Later, I posted a second auction for a mystery bag. That was taken down as well. The bid when the auction was taken down was over $30,000. One of the higher bidders was a guy named Abraham. Abraham later emailed me and said, Look, if I just send you a thousand dollars, will you send me a Karanagami animal? I said, Sure, and Abraham sent me the cash. Sounds like a good home for Abu Porker. This was a while back, I'm just getting around to mailing it now. So, Abraham, Abu Porker will be coming to you in two pieces. Much like anyone who disagreed with Muhammad about anything, Abu Porker's head will be separate from his body. You can just insert the neck into the body and it will stay there. If you want to keep these together permanently, just add a little tape or glue. All right, Abu Porker is in his temporary pig pen. I'm going to put this inside a mailing box. Looks like I'll need a little padding. Oh, here's some. So, some of you viewers think it was a good idea to kill a teacher for Showing some Muhammad cartoons, right? Some of you think it was funny when Hatun was assaulted for making fun of Muhammad, right? Some of you were praising Muhammad Hijab when he was threatening women with torture and rape, weren't you? Some of you still think that insults and threats and violence are the way to convince us to stop criticizing that child-molesting, slave-trading, wife-beating rapist you call a prophet. Isn't that right? How's that working out for you? Wow, knowing what the contents are, this may be the most perfect package in the world. Check your mail, Abraham, because it's on its way. My next project is a Quran beer holder. After that, I think I'll get back to some Quranagami. If you think I can't make the pagan goddesses Alat, Alusa, and Manat while I'm discussing the infamous satanic verses, you must not know me very well.